Hey everyone, I'm going to show you my LeBron James basketball card collection. Um, I've got anywhere from uh, fairly low end of what I would consider low end for LeBron up to really high end stuff. So I'm just gonna take you through one one at a time and show you what show you what I got. Um, first, 2007 2008 Topps Finest Refractor. This would have been Kevin Durant's rookie year. Nice clean design. Great shine on the refractor there. Next is 2012-2013 Panini Prism Silver Prism. This would have been Panini's first year of the Prism. Really great set. Really iconic set. Silver is done really well. This is their version of Topps Chrome. Really clean design. This is 2007-2008 Topps Chrome 1957 Retro, and this one is numbered to 999. Pretty simple design again. Not my favorite card, but still a cool refractor. This is 2007-2008 Topps Treasury Silver. So there's a bronze, silver, and gold parallel of this. This is the silver. And this is numbered to 199. This is 2013-2014 Panini Prism Silver. So this would have been the second year of Prism. The silvers aren't numbered in any of the sets. This is 2006 2007 Topps Finest Refractor. This one is not numbered as well. It's a fairly inexpensive card. This is 2006 2007 Bowman Chrome Black Refractor. And this one is numbered to 199. Really great action shot going in for a reverse dunk. That's what I like about all the pre Panini stuff. The action shots are all really nice. Lots of good action uh, dunks and passes and stuff. This one is a 2004 2005 Bowman Chrome Draft Picks and Prospects. That's a really nice dunk he's going in for there. Again, another great action shot. This one is numbered to 300. It's kind of hard to see because it's right on top of the Bowman Chrome logo. Regular refractor. Okay, moving through here. This is 2005, 2006. Top's finest, finest facts. Not a really well known card here, but it's nonetheless a really nice refractor. And this one's numbered to 199. I really like the Topps Finest. I think it's underrated compared to Chrome. They still make great cards. This is 2005-2006 Bowman Chrome Refractor. As you can see, I love the refractors. I'm actually trying to complete a set of all the pre-Panini refractors of Bowman, Topps Finest, and Topps Chrome, the base refractor. I'm almost done with that set. This one is number two, 249. Again, another great dunking action shot. This is 2007-2008 Bowman Chrome Refractor. Again, another dunking action shot. This one's got a really nice clean design. This is again Durant's rookie year. Nice US flag there. This one is number to 499. A little bit higher numbering, but still rare. All right, moving into a little bit higher end stuff here. Some of the nicer ones that I enjoy more. This is 2005 2006 Topps Finest Base Refractor. This is actually my favorite card design. 
uh, of all time. Yeah, my favorite design. I really like the half of the basketball here background. It's got like this cool curved bezel design here. You can see, and the shine is fantastic. It's got the nice border on the bottom. Amazing dunk action shot. Top's finest. Number to 349. Really like this card. Okay, 2004, 2005. Top's finest space refractor. The Masked Man. This is his second year in the league when he injured his face and had to wear the mask for a good portion of the season. So it's kind of cool to capture that piece of history. Really nice clean design again. This one is numbered to 249. Again, I really like the Top's Finest cards. Underrated compared to Chrome. Now we're getting into the Chrome stuff. This one is 2006-2007 Top's Chrome Refractor. Amazing dunk photo here. It's going in for a huge slam against the Heat, the team he will end up playing for. He does not not yet know it. This one is not numbered. Very nice. Okay, moving along. 2005, 2006, Topps Chrome. This would have been his buddy Chris Paul's rookie year. Got the retro Cavs jersey on. Another dunk action shot. This one doesn't have the best centering, but it's a really nice clean edges and corners and surface, so still mint. This one is numbered to 999. Base refractor, tops chrome. <clears throat> so this is 2007, 2008, no, sorry, 2008-2009. Topps Chrome Refractor. This would have been Russell Westbrook's rookie year. This is an iconic shot of LeBron. I actually have a poster of him on USA Basketball doing a similar pose with the chalk throw. I don't think he does this anymore. I used to love when he did it. Iconic LeBron. This one again is not numbered. Okay, second year in the league, 2004-2005, Topps Chrome. This is my favorite action shot, just skying through the air, reverse dunk. Really nice design. Awesome year for Topps Chrome. Not numbered. The centering on the back of these is always really terrible. Even PSA 10 versions of this have this centering on the back. I guess that's just the way these ones were cut. Doesn't bother me that much. 2007, 2008 Topps Chrome. Again, broken record, but another nice dunking action shot. It's getting, cradling the ball really low, going in for a nice reverse jam. Really nice centering on this one. This was Kevin Durant's rookie year. This one is number to 999. I think the rookies in this year were numbered to 1499, the refractors. Awesome set there. This is the 2005-2006 Topps 1952 Chrome Refractor. So this would have been the Mickey Mantle version, or sorry, the, that was the Mickey Mantle Rookie Year card. Iconic set that they're modeling after here. Really nice. Autograph here, not not real, but modeling after the 52 baseball set. Not a fan of the photo, just him in warm-ups, but still pretty cool. 299. I really like the retro back there, it's cool. Nice texture on it. Okay, getting into some of the real nice stuff here. This is 2009, 2010, Topps Chrome Refractor. This would have been Harden and Curry's rookie year. Really nice centering on this. It's a different um, foil pattern on these refractors this year. This would have been the last year of Topps Chrome, so the rookies don't even have NBA photos. 
Nice windmill action shot. This one is number to 500. I really like the horizontal landscape design of this one. Nice borders, similar to his rookie year card. I do not have a rookie year Topps Chrome. I have owned one in the past, but I had to sell it. So that's one of the ones I'm missing of the refractor set. Okay, so let's see, these next two are parallels. This is 2006 2007 Topps Chrome Black Refractor. It's the only black refractor I own. Really like the black borders on this one. And this one's number two, 99. I bought it for the really low numbering. The blacks are usually numbered a lot higher. Nice set there. And this is my actual favorite card. If I, if I didn't know value of cards and value wasn't a thing, this would be my favorite card of all time. This is 2000. 2006 Topps Finest Gold Refractor, and this one's numbered to 39. It's the rarest LeBron that I own. The gold is just spectacular on this card. I posted a thread on Blowout Forums, people talking about their dream card, and I posted about this uh, Penny Hardaway card, and I ended up picking up both of them within the month, which was super lucky. This one just popped up on eBay and won the bid. I could look at this card all day. Beautiful. Okay. Next two cards are the big ones. My last two. So this one is a 2003-2004 rookie LeBron James Topps Finest Refractor. Love this design. Love the uh, textured background on the top here. His last name cool kind of artistic pattern here behind him. I love that it says rookie card right here under Top's Finest. It's a really thick card too, which is kind of cool. And it's only numbered to 250, which I love. The uh, Top's Chrome refractor isn't even numbered, and the black is 500, so the regular refractor here is twice as rare as the black of Top's Chrome. These are a lot cheaper than Top's Chrome, so if you're looking to get a nice... LeBron Rookie Refractor, I'd go for this one. Much cheaper. Just as nice. The condition on... These are very condition sensitive. It's got some corner wear here. Some slight edge wear on the bottom. It's probably a PSA 8, I would say. Love that card. Alright, last one. Um, just got this one in yesterday. Had to sell... About 40 cards to get it. I had to trade another high-end LeBron. I had to stop collecting for a couple months just to save up money. Um, I've been wanting this in my collection for a long time. Probably my number one card that I've ever wanted. And now that I have it, I can kind of slow down and focus on other cards. So I'll just stop talking and show it to you guys. 2003-2004 Upper Deck Ultimate Collection Autograph. Rookie card. Probably his second most iconic rookie card next to the exquisite. Numbered to 250 here. Nice thick card with a really bold blue auto. Actually, I'm not happy about even keeping this in the light right now. It's making me nervous. But I'll give you guys a quick look at the back. This is the only graded card that I own. Really nice subs. 0.5 away from gem. I'll probably resubmit it. Try to get it 9.5, maybe even PSA 10, because I just I don't see anything wrong with the card. So maybe the corners maybe could be subbed down, and I think a nice cleaning on the surface could get it bumped up as well. Just spectacular card. By far the most expensive card that I own. Not even close, really. Just awesome. It's nice to have a really nice, um, high quality card like this. I usually like to keep quality over quantity, and this kind of goes with that theme. Just amazing. I need more LeBron rookies, but it's nice to have at least this one at the center of the collection. 
All right, that is all I have. I have a binder full of LeBrons, but nothing too crazy. I just wanted to take you through some of the nicer ones. A lot of refractors, one auto. I used to have a SP Authentic auto, but I had to trade it for the Ultimate. So I'll probably end up getting one of those down the road, but hope you guys enjoyed these. See you later.